Yeah, welcome back to Career Build Series. This is episode 116. And so, um, I think what we're going to do here is continue some rescues. Um, there are a couple of things I want to do. I want to go do some oil trading and we'll do some other stuff. But I um, still want some more money before I go try to do oil trading. I want to get that oil tanker out. Um, I also want to work on the home base here a little bit. And it's kind of tough with Katie Did sitting here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly Katie Did off and. Um, Put Katie did away. So there's a mission here. So I think we'll do this. Um, let's see exactly what it says. It's a ground fire. Hangar is on fire. Um, so we should be able to go do that. Let me check the fire extinguisher status here. Make sure we have plenty of fire extinguisher. That should put a fire out. Uh, should. And um, we're a little low on fuel. I think we have two thirds of a tank of fuel. Uh, yeah, we're about, right, right about half. So let's, um, let's get ready to get out of here right away. And, uh, that way we're all set. Alright, so, uh, go ahead and we'll detach the coupling. Go up to 250 feet. Uh, waypoint, I think I put it in already. And let's head to the turn to the waypoint. Let's start going. We'll go put this fire out. I'll put this back in the um, workbench at Draymore. That would be good. Um, get this back in there, and then I'll probably fast travel back here and do a little bit of work on the base. I think that's what I'll do. Um, just a couple things I want to do. Um, kind of fast travel around and get that stuff done. There's a little... Uh, there's something I want to work on for... Um, for the oil tanker. So presently I have to, um, you know, presently in order for me to get the hoses up to the top of the oil tanker, I hate using those old con connectors. I like using the proper hoses. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a little tool and what it will do is you'll drop, you'll use the remote control, you'll drop down the connector from the crane at the oil platform it will hook up to this u this tool that essentially it just has a bunch of uh, of hose anchors on it, and it will allow you to pass through hose anchors, and uh, you'll rate you know you'll raise it up um, or down with the crane, and that way you don't have to try to carry hoses up three times. You can just go up and then quickly connect your hoses to it. So I think that's something I want to do. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that and at some point. And then that will make it so it's a little bit easier for me to utilize that um, oil tanker. And so, um, and then once we get a little bit of cash, we're, we're close. Um, I'm figuring if we can get a good hundred grand of extra cash. So, you know, if I, if I get the Damon uh, 800, which is the oil tanker, if I buy it, I have usually around $50,000 left. I want, you know, I want to get at least another 50 50 grand in the bank, and that will uh, get us to the point where I can buy enough oil that it makes the trip worthwhile. You know, uh, by buying a smaller volume of oil, it takes a lot less time to fill it, but we still have travel time, which isn't that long doing the little fuel uh, triangle, but it's it's enough that it's, um, you know, it's a little bit obnoxious, so we don't want to do too much with that. You know, so we want to make sure it's worth our, uh, our while, essentially is what I'm saying. Because if, if it's not enough, um, it's really, you know, um, if, if we don't buy enough oil, it really doesn't make the, um, really doesn't make it worthwhile. So we want to make sure that um, the trip's going to be worth the time, or else it just, you know, just might as well not do it. So. All right, let's uh, kind of see where how far we are here. Uh, that's not bad, five minutes. Uh, let's kind of look at this island. This island uh, should be this one here. All right. I like to just back up, you know, where we are with uh, reference points outside. Let me get the lights, light strobes are on, all that's on. Good. All right, so put this fire out. Go to Draymore. Put Katie did away. I think I'll do the update on Katie did. Let me bring that up. Uh, just a couple things I wanted to do. Uh, pretty much all it is is the um, adding the rope anchors at this point. That's all I'm really going to do. There's a lot to do on KDD, but I'm not going to go into all of that right now. Kind of in a building mood um, as well, so 
kind of like to play it by ear. You know, uh, what I want to do. Yes, um, makes it a lot more fun if you just, just kind of play it by ear and, you know, whatever I'm feeling, do that instead of feeling like, oh, I said I was going to do this and I don't really want to do that. That's not, that's not fun for anybody. So, um, a little bit better just to kind of do what, what feels right at the time. Okay. Making a little progress here. Fuel's pretty good. Uh, we started, I think, at 44, down to 27. So I, I want to set up an enunciator panel. I need to learn some Lua. I plan on trying to do that this week while I have some time off. Uh, learn a little bit of Lua. Make a simple enunciator panel. So we'll say um, it'll be a flashing fuel. Uh, you, go, you know, hopefully have it go yellow uh, when it is below a certain level and then flashing red when it's below another level. So you'll have yellow caution. Hey, you're low on fuel and then a uh, ding. And then when it's red, you'll have constant dinging that tells you, hey, man, you better land or else you're going to crash again. So, um, yeah, that's uh, something to put in there. It's, so, a bunch of stuff to do, but um, not what I'm feeling. So, as far as building, one thing, um, actually, I could see doing some building this video. One thing I've wanted to do is we don't, you know, I, I have the old uh, Maz 537 tow truck. But it's huge, and it's, you know, a good military tow truck, but it's not really a good civilian tow truck. And there's a high likelihood that, you know, when I'm trying to go in the coal mountain or something else, I get stuck with a vehicle and I need a tow truck. I, you know, I, uh, I had an issue with the Katie did um, when I was bringing back the pickup truck that I needed to be able to, to uh, just drag that in and... I just, you know, hooked it to the back of the tractor and pulled it, but it would be nice to have a tow truck. So I think uh, maybe I'll work on that. You know, I, I made the uh, the Mac R tractor. I think I will make, let's work on a tow truck. Um, so I'll start bringing up some pics of a Mac R tow truck. I like the old school uh, design of it, and... Um, you know, that will be good for us trying to get into um, having this vehicle that we can use to help us in the event that we um, get stuck. And so I'm trying to let me get some uh, some images here. I'll check the time of how far out we are. Two minutes and 39 seconds. So that's pretty good. Um, let's grab. I'll grab uh, this picture and bring it in. So this is a Mac R tow truck. Pretty simple A-frame uh, cables. Um, I'll probably make the cables faked, uh, so essentially we'll have pivots here, and that will go up and down with pivots. Maybe I'll do hydraulics instead of, um, may do, I'll probably do hydraulics instead of trying to do a cable lift, just because, um, you know, I think it's going to be, um, you know, they're too spongy, and I don't want it to be overly spongy. So, uh, here's another tow truck pick. Of course they go super small. But um, there's another one. This one has a drop axle, which is what we have on there. So good inspiration there um, for what I want to do. All right. So that's the intermediary um, rail line that goes to uh, north. So a lot of good ideas of things I want to do. Um, you know, more train stuff, some more land stuff. And I really want to play it by ear. And just what I'm feeling is what we, you know, what we can do. Don't want to get, you know, kind of bogged down by um, kind of feeling like I have to do something. It's, you know, a cool mission pops up. I want to be able to do it. So one of the things that, you know, when I started the build series, I really wanted to build all these vehicles, you know, in the build series and use those. And so it took us a little while to get up to the point where we have, you know, uh, a garage full of all sorts of different vehicles that can be used for different stuff. And so now I have a helicopter and and a rescue boat, and I'm starting to bring in some of my older creations that I built, you know, um, separately from the build series that um, really gives me a wide variety of stuff we could do. And so we have so many tools in the toolbox now that anything that comes up that seems interesting I can go do, and that's, uh, that's a great place to be. It really helps to um, just diversify gameplay and, and do what I'm feeling at the time, 
you know, like I, I had a couple really cool rescues, and so I've been feeling rescues, and so just been kind of doing them, you know. And uh, if I get sick of rescues, you know, do something else, you know. And you know, like right now, as much as I would like to have some money and work on the um, the home ship a little bit, I'm not feeling it all that much. And so I'm not, and I'm not feeling sitting around waiting for the fuel trading to to do its thing. Um, so what I think I'll do is, you know, just put that off, and when I'm feeling it, I'll do it, and then that way it'll be, um, you know, a lot more enjoyable, and uh, it'll work out well. It looks like I have to rescue people too, which isn't a big deal. All right, shut that down. Door. Okay, door, please. Cockpit. Okay, I have to be in my seat for that to work. Sometimes it, that interacts with your body, so if you just sit back, ooh, prop. Uh, that's why I've been shutting it off. So I've been getting in the habit of making sure I shut that off. I have walked into that before, and I don't want to walk into it again. So, All right, so that's extinguished. Uh, mission's complete. All these people, uh, we don't need to do anything with them. So that's good. There's an extra three grand. What is this person still up here? I rescued this person. I don't know what the deal is. Was is, is there another one hanging there? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not dealing with that. Not happening. Did I never? They might be sitting in the back here. I may not have dropped them off. Did I not drop you off? Uh, I think I dropped them off. I can't even recall. I I could have sworn I dropped them off. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. I don't care at this point. I'm <laughs> doing it. All right. Um. Let's get fired up. Yeah, we'll go to Dream War. So. You know, that was, instead of just doing a reposition where we're moving equipment from one side to the other, it was nice to kind of actually get get a mission done there on the way. So, made it feel like a little bit less of a, a waste to, um, you know, burn a bunch of fuel to come across. Still good on fuel. You know, we, uh, you know, it, look, it looks hairy when you're that low on your gauge. But, you know, we're really, we're not doing bad on burn. The, this is pretty fuel efficient, so... So this would be cool to have a, a large size. Ooh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. It, it, the game does this weird thing that there's a transitory speed. And so when you're between a transition speed, um, I'm not sure exactly what speed it is. I have to kind of figure it out a little bit better. Your rotors stop being as effective and your control surface, like see right now, I can easily control my pitch and everything and... Um, you know, once once you get above that speed, your control surfaces um, start to behave uh, more strongly, and your rotors stop doing much. And it's almost like a hard limit. It makes it tough to um, control in that in that little uh, zone. Okay, and you be careful here. Yeah, see, it's it's the, the gyro didn't like it either. Okay, that's set. No, that's not set. Okay. Yeah, gyro's misbehaving there. It's it's also very windy. You can see how windy it is, so it's fighting the wind the whole time, and so that's that's making it tough. But it's um, kind of bucking and being crazy, um, you know, bucking all around. All right. So um, at some point, that little diesel uh, jerry can will become available for me to uh, call the workbench. It's happened before. It just takes a while, and then it eventually it will let me pull it into the workbench. All right, I'm gonna stick the fire extinguisher in here because I don't want to have to. Uh, I don't want to kick it around. I think we get some money back for it. Can I recall it from here? Because this was, yep, this was launched from this base, so that can go in there. All right, I'm gonna actually pull it out and um, start to add the parts that I need. So um, let me make sure this is nothing that I need, and so I'll just grab it. Cut it, move it over here. Yeah, that appears to just be a block, so we'll just clear it. Um, then let's grab the color and let's grab a rope anchor. And let's put it here. So um, I'll be able to fold the rotors and then lift from here. So that'll be a lift there. And then uh, just want to kind of look around, make sure that, um, like, see, this is all um, microcontroller. So other thing I can do is go through like this and kind of see what's microcontroller, what's not. That's microcontroller. That's all good there. Um, that's microcontroller. What about there and there? I kind of want them symmetrical. Um, so this one here and this one here. 
Uh, those look good. Yep, so let's go ahead and I'll put on symmetry. And then those can go, and that's that will be rope anchors there. And then, what about here? I don't think that's anything on either side. It is not. So that's my four rope anchors there, and that will get me to where I need to be so that I can uh, easily tie this down if I go on the... Um, I go on the hospital ship. All right, so there's just four tie-down points um, and a lift point. So let's save that. Uh, cancel that. Yeah, we'll just do it over this one here. All right, so that's set up. So that's our most recent Katie. Did that's good. All right, um, let's go ahead and let's grab one of the Mac R's. So this is the most recent one. So this is the tractor, and so I want to build this tow truck. And so I'm looking at some reference pictures here, kind of the shapes and what I want to do with it, and um, kind of seeing how they had the different uh, body styles for that. And so maybe put a bull bar on there. There's, there's a couple cool toys with some bull bars on there. And um, so I'm just kind of looking at looking at some photos, getting some inspiration. I'll, I'll bring that in so you guys can see what I'm looking at. Yeah, so like some things uh, like I like, you know, this has a bull bar on the front. Um, I don't know if I can, how well I can make that look or recreate that and then I saw another one that was cool it was a toy that had a cool bull bar this is kinda cool you can see some of the mechanism here um, some of the body styles I'm kinda digging this uh, type of body style here it's a little bit more interesting put some toolboxes in there this is the bumper that I you know a bumper I'm looking at so make kind of a beefy bumper maybe put a winch in the front as well um, so good inspiration there um, and then, so, go ahead and start working on this. Um, all right, so we don't need the, f so let me save this as Mac R Tow Truck. Wrecker would be better. Okay. Uh, Mac R Wrecker, and let's save that, and let's start um, ripping things apart here. So I want to see what's connected here. That is right here for the fifth wheel. Uh, don't need the fifth wheel um, stuff. So I don't want symmetry either. Um especially when I'm deleting pieces there. Um, and then let's get symmetry back on. Take out the fifth wheel here. Don't need ramps anymore. Ramps are for the, um, to get up on top of the fifth wheel. Uh, I took, put down my pictures. Okay, and so let's get those images back up and I kind of look at the body style and how I want this set up. So, I'm going to keep my drop axle. I'm going to keep all that. We'll make it a heavy-duty tow truck. Um, kind of looking at it, seeing how it uh, everything goes here. Just kind of grabbing some inspiration, trying to figure what's kind of the definitive design of what I want. So I'm trying to find a picture to, like, you know, I can kind of deviate and do some other things, um, but I kind of want to see what the what the one that I'm gonna say hey this is what I want it to look like so I'm kinda of thinking I like this this is a toy picture but um it's gonna be tiny no it's actually a reasonable size too I can see it um yeah so you can kinda of see it has this uh you know a toolbox here it has kind of a slope section there flat diamond plate uh has a bit as a square frame with bracing um, an A-frame. Uh, we'll have some some cables connecting to it, so I'll probably put pivots and fake the cables. Uh, winch on the end. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty good. Um, I might do like a Magol bar to hook on. Um, yeah, so I think this is kind of what I'm looking for. I'm not going to screw around with the paint too much now, but we'll keep that up as a reference and start working on what this is going to look like. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is, um, it has big flared wheel wells and everything else, so I'm going to start, um, I think I'm going to start with, 
I'm going to start with some, some black here and uh, I'm trying to see it goes all the way to the back. Mud flaps don't need these anymore. They'll hook to the frame. So kind of go like this. All right, I'm just trying to see the width. Is that what the normal width is? Yeah, they stick. I'm trying to see where the normal bumper is. No, that's, that's one too far, I think. Yeah, that's not, it's hard to tell where, where this stops here. So it'll be one in from here, so be one in from there, so that's correct. Okay, so like that. All right, and then um, that's not much of a wheel well. Um, kind of skimpy on a wheel well. That's better. Um, yep. All right, and then this here, where it's where it's kind of touching a little bit, I will. Um, that's not too bad. Um, let's do that. Kind of just looking at what I uh, kind of how I want to line this up there, and so that's going to be the bed of the um, the tow body, or the tow bed there. And then I'm gonna kind of step it up again because I need to get over these drop axles. Um, I'm trying to decide if I want to keep the drop axles. I'm kind of thinking, yeah, I do. Um, I don't think they'll be too hard to draw to keep. Just need to go up one more like this right here. That adds some interesting kind of characteristic, some character to it a little bit as well. And then kind of grab it in there. Yes, yeah, so this is adding some interesting. Um, instead of just being a flat plate on the back, you know, kind of kind of ramps a couple times is is kind of interesting. All right, and so we have the fuel tanks in the way of the toolbox. So all I really need to do is shrink the fuel tank and put a smaller uh, fuel tank on there. That's fine. Right, and so let's start working on the actual um, uprights for this. So I think I'm going to do my pat yellow color and um, kind of do these uprights here. And so I'm trying to see, so they're actually pretty wide, they're like this. And they go right to just above the top of the cab. Now, I don't want it too high because I want to be able to drive this in the tunnel and go get something that I inevitably break in there. So I don't want to go too high. Um, so I want to keep this kind of the same max height. Let's try uh, two wedges. Oh, crap. All right, let's do this. That's better. Um, and then I can do okay there. So there's a kind of a bracing there, and then I actually kind of want to go one past on that side like so. All right, and then there'll be some cherries and all sorts of stuff on here, um, you know, lights and cool stuff like that. Um, I'm trying to think where I want my pivots. Probably right here. I have to, you know, I have to, I have to think about how quickly these are going to turn in there. Um, I think I can do these regular pivots here. Yeah, these are better, I think, for what I'm trying to do. All right, and next, what do I want to do? I'm just going to uh, add, put these together, um, and then I'll delete that cross brace. I don't think there's a cross brace in, in the back there. All right, and then I want one by two edges here. May want one by fours. I have to kind of see. I think one by fours probably is actually going to be what I want. So, yeah, I think one by fours is going to be where it's going to be at. So.
that's better there so I think what I'm gonna do is um, it's still not far enough so I'm gonna do like oh I don't know so one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's do five, and then do a wedge here. You, I want the sticking just off the back of the um, of the tow truck, and I need to put power pivots there because uh, that's what's actually going to power it. So um, I can't use those pivots. I think how I want to do that wedging there. That's fine. I think the way it is. It's a little bit long, but um, let me do this. See if I like this. Okay. And then, so I do need to put in the. Um, you do need to put in different the different wedges here. Or pivots rather. And then, so this is just to recess a little bit so it doesn't um, clip. So instead of it lo looking like it's going through a box, uh, through through a block, it won't. So. Oh, come on, man. Give me the right one. There we go. And it doesn't really matter the orientation. Uh, it does actually matter the orientation of this. Okay. All right, so that's a setup. Um, that's going to be our toe, our toe section there. And then I'll put a splitter bar on there. What did I delete here? I can't even. Remember. Nothing. Okay, there was nothing there. Okay. All right, so you know I'm going to redo a bunch of the colors and paint and stuff, but um, that's kind of a start. Um, and then I need a couple. Uh, I don't want to go higher. Um, t -t -t -t. All right, so those will be the winches to raise this up. All right, and then we'll do logic ropes here. All right. And so those are just kind of fakies to make it look like that's what's going on there. All right, trying to just, I'm just looking at my reference pictures. Some more. the center there it is and I'm gonna redo the color of this whole kind of this whole flat section anyway all right all right so um, And I just kind of think how I set this up here. I'm just going to kind of put a, a couple of things on here just to kind of play with it, see how it functions. Let's see how it moves and everything else. I'll turn on infinite electricity probably anyways, but I'll just plug it in the battery for now. And then 
this can go. Very annoying that I that they don't ha let us um, read the winch length on these small ones. I wish that you could kind of do that. Okay. Infinite electricity. Yeah, so this will be faked. You see that those will just go till they are up and then yeah, see like that's actually what's gonna be controlling it. That's stronger. And so that will uh you know raise that up. I'll be able to uh pull things out of here and I'll put a splitter bar on there. There's our kind of our grab winch. So kind of simple. Um let's start working on it. Do a little color here. All right, uh, symmetry's on. We're good. We're good. All right. Oh, undo that. Why would why would I paint all that? Um, all right. All right, so there's more of the coloration I want. Now you're gonna misbehave there, aren't you? All right, go like that. All right, so that's kind of that's looking pretty good. All right. And then here on the um, so can I put a cabinet in here? Yes. Okay. So I want to put a couple cabinets in here. That's where that goes. Um, I don't need it that deep anyways. I just need enough space for one thing there. So let's see. All right. Put a compact robotic pivot and we will start it in the open position. All right. We'll put a door here. And so um, This will be the that'll be the door hinge, and then this will be the cabinet here. What do we need? Three, one, two, three is there. So that'll be the top of it. Okay, so that will be that, and then oh, don't don't do all that, please. I don't think I don't want to set this up. Um, I don't need that like that. I don't need this much. Okay, so let's go like this. And so we don't need a ton of stuff in here. Uh, we just need some stuff in here. All right, so that's kind of the cabinet there. And these two will be supplies here, so. Yeah, a fire extinguisher. Um, let me do a mace symmetrical so that I have different tools in different spots. Fire extinguisher there. I want um, torch. It's welder. Sorry, it's a welding torch, but it's welder. Okay. All right, and then. I'm going to put something on the door here. Alright. This is going to actually go down one. Um, so let's do that. 
cut that. I think I can without, yeah, that can go down one, which is better. Um, then I don't, this doesn't need to be so high. I don't want that super duper high up there. That's better. All right, merge that together. Okay, and then what else do I need? Uh, let's just do a couple ropes in here. I hit the thing for the rotation labels I didn't want. Um, let's see, ropes. I'll just do a couple for now, and I'll uh, change it as I wish. So that that hatch will that will close. That just gives us kind of a little open toolbox there, and that'll give us one on the other side as well. Oh, none of that uh, copied. Yay! All right, <laughs> uh, let's just grab everything here. Now I'll put that over here. Where did it go? I hate it when it does that. Um, those like little pull uh, arrows are just so annoying sometimes. They just really make it difficult. You, you know, you grab, you think you grab on this one, you grab it on a different one. So. And it's always the third one you hit to get it rotated. Um, Oh, uh, I cut into my stack. I need to fix my stack, too. Okay, that's fine. I can do that. All right, so that's uh, two little toolboxes there. Now, why is this so? Uh, because I never deleted out the, t the high stuff there. Um, let's see. I think it was this one. This one. Um, no, was it? Let me see if I can get this to hook up properly. Why won't it? Why won't this? Is this just too fat? It won't go in there. What are you telling me, man? All right, put this here like this. Now let's move it over. And let's see if this no, that looks like it fits. I don't know what deleted it. Something deleted it. Okay. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Um, have our exhaust back. We have a couple toolboxes here. I don't even need this top. Yeah, see, I want to get this as low as possible. So that's cool. I like that. And then. Um, Go away, being annoying that. Um, grab this one by four wedge here. Eh, I don't like that all that much. Let's see. Um, that's good there, I think. Yeah, that's good like that. I think continue that actually a little bit further back, I think is what I want to do. We like there. That's good. You know, this is an old school truck, so it's it's a little bit blockier than um you know the new stuff. And so I kind of want to embrace the blocky a little bit. Yeah, that, that angle I like better. There we go. Um, yeah, that's pretty good there. Let me see what's behind here. Wheel well is there. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do here is um, I want to make another locker here. I'm trying to think how to do this to set it up so I can see something. Um, that work. Okay. Symmetry is not on, which is really annoying me. Um, I keep I keep forgetting to have that on, and it's it's 
uber duper annoying. And the cat won't get off my arm, so it makes it hard to type. All right, so um, let's see. I want to put in a something in there. Just throwing random crap in there for right now, and then um, if I find something will be better to put in there, I will put it in there. Yeah, like I'm just going to spam some of these in here until I kind of get it where I want it. And then so that's another another locker that will open up. Did I, I just paint bucketed. I didn't mean to paint bucket. All right, so that's fine. What I can do now is grab from here to like there, copy it, convert it, and I'll just slide it over. Right, and I'll try to watch my um try to watch my uh what I'm doing a little bit better with symmetry. And I don't know if this is a welder in there or not. Oh my god, can't see anything in here. Alright, um Alright, so let's get in there. All right, help me out here, guy. Why won't you? What the, what is going on here, man? Yeah, I was like I knew that would fit and then it didn't. So, symmetry is your friend. Um All right, so there's a couple lockers there with some gear. Um, that's, that's, I don't know why I didn't need to start this open, um, but I did. Yeah, I'm going to close it because it just makes it, too, it might make it too wide to fit in the, um, in the train garage. So I don't want that. So. merge that here that's good and then this side will do the same probably should just copy the whole thing over again but I you know if I grab the wrong one it's going to be a pain so I just quickly do it again here it doesn't take all that long and I can make sure I do it right instead of screwing it up All right, so that's a couple lockers there, and then um, I'll put some controls probably in the driver's side here. So I will take um, take off symmetry. Yeah, I'll put some panels in here. And so these will be the controllers. All right, and so that's good. That's that, and then that's what will control all this. So that's that's coming out along pretty well. And and this another nice thing with this vehicle is the hardest vehicle to hide microcontrollers on is a tractor, because you don't have any space. With this, as you can see, I, I regained so much flat space. I can put you know anything anywhere. So that's kind of cool. Um, have a panel locker. You can open one of this locker from here. Yeah. Okay, so I want another panel here. So this will just be control for this locker and uh, this locker here. Now that will cover it, so I can't put it there. This will cover this, so I can't put that there. And 
Maybe I'll put it right there, I think. And then that I do want symmetry on because I have two sets of lockers there, so. All right, there we go. Um, so that's that's what I need. Um, all right, so this is coming along pretty well here. Um, let's see. Um, I'm not even going to bother with this. What I'm going to do is I will start making the microcontrollers, I think. So let's save this as the um, Mac R Wrecker. All right, and what else do I want to do here? I'm just kind of looking at the reference uh, material. Uh, this isn't a bad bumper. Um, I think. Let me play around with a bull bar. See what I think of that. Um, Kind of looking at the bumper that I have and the kind of the bumper that I want. Let's leave that bumper on there. I'm just kind of looking at my reference here of how I want this to set up. So often you'll have kind of a more spaced out bumper on a wrecker. And then, because you know, a wrecker has a reasonable chance it's going to push something as well. So, um, goes just kind of a beefier uh, beefier bumper is what I'm looking for here yeah this is supposed to be a vehicle that goes out and drags things out of the uh, muck so uh, you know and I've seen I've seen some trucks pretty deep down in in there so um, you know so that's so putting a bigger bumper on it doesn't need to be that tall I think it can go down one, and then I'll put bull bar stuff on top. Yeah, see, like, that's pretty good. I want the grill to breathe. And then I, I still need this to tip forwards. So usually what happens is the bull bar will tip as well. So I need to come up with, I need that to tip as well. So what I'm going to do is get rid of symmetry here. And, um, okay. And let's do a pivot. Okay. See if I can see which direction I want to go. Okay, that's good. And then, so, um, yeah, I need to do, I think I'm going to do two. Okay, let me go like this. Let me actually put the symmetry back on. All right, and so that's going to tip the bull bar. And so this actually could be, uh, I could put a winch in there, maybe, front winch. Um, I'll have to see here. All right, so let's start working on this bull bar. Um, I think I want like a stainless color on the bull bar. So the bull bar will protect the grill from getting hit. And I don't want it super duper tall. I don't want it blocking the Mac. I'm kind of looking at the reference. It goes up about halfway up the grill, so mine's even going to be a little bit taller than this is. So that will be the main section of the bull bar. And then I want a kind of a um, an off section here. This is just pretty much protecting the. Um, yeah, I can't go in front of lights, so. And then I think we'll do some T's here. It's, getting, it's nice getting back in a building. I haven't built in a little while, and so feeling good building again. 
I've done a little of this and that, you know, I just haven't done a terrible amount. So I'm kinda kinda digging getting back in the building a little. I'm liking that. I don't I'm trying to think, do I want a center span here? Let me put a center bar in and see if I like it. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. Kind of liked it better without the center bar there. I think what I'll do is go like this, and then try this, see if I like this. There we go, I like that a little bit better. Because what's going to happen is this, uh, this is going to probably hit here. It's going to hit there, yes. Yeah. So let me check this. See, this hood will tip forward, so I need to, let me spawn it. Um, switch to daylight. And then I'm going to open up my hood, which is there and there. And you see it hits the bull bar. Um, and so what I need that bull bar to do is move with the grill. And so um, I'm just, I was making sure it wasn't hitting here. It's not. So that's, that's why I, I screwed around with that part. So let me fix this up. And I might just square this sucker off like this. I want it to kind of look beefy. Uh, yeah, I think squaring it off is going to look better. Um, yeah, square it off looks better. And that should go. And then, um, so whatever is moving this here, uh, which is hood, let's go to the same ones here. Uh, and then that will move along. So you actually what you do is I think you, you unpin the bull bar and you kind of let it fall forwards and then... When you lift the hood, uh, it allows the bull bar to kind of get out of the way. See? And that sets that up. So now we can still get the, the hood still opens. I need to paint that. And uh, we can get in there. See, I was afraid it was going to hit here. That needs paint. Do a couple painting things here while we're here. Okay. These are the details that, um, you know, like I haven't released this yet. And these are some of the details that, you know, I like to get. Make sure that are good before I um, release something. You know, I don't want to release something with a bunch of mistakes and uh, things that look undone. You know, I kind of like it to be pretty done and, you know, kind of be up to the quality that I like to put things out at. You know, I could even move this microcontroller seeing that I, um, you know, there are actually some like thermal blanket type material there often so it's not the end of the world that it's there but um and then right here in the rotation here there's a couple that need to be black maybe just that okay i'm just going to put this on the ground so it doesn't fall all right so let's start working on the panels here um what i need to do on that yeah okay um let's see you actually paint this. Do I have two tank fillers? No, I have one tank filler, so let's go paint that like that. And then I think what I'm going to do here is um, see if I like this. We have one, two, three, six. Um, Okay, yep, that's a good detail. I like the look of that. All right. Yeah, like, see, on the regular, on the one I'm looking at, the reference photo, let's see if I dig this. It looks more like that. There's a gap. You can kind of see the gap. I'm going to stick it like... I don't. I really don't. I like it. I think it looks beefier being just solid. 
you know, solid looks solid, essentially. Um, so that's looking pretty good. I still haven't figured a mirror on this side. Um, yeah. I was checking some stuff here. I think I'm going to move the stack up one for the exhaust stack. I think that's better. Give it a little bit more height. All right, and so kind of like some cherries. We got here light. I just want to make sure. Not RGBs, because they're just going to be pretty much uh, cherries. I don't want to go up in any height. This is the max height for the tunnel that I want, so that's why I'm kind of keeping it there. All right, kind of just looking a little bit um, for more fine details here that I want to do. Yeah, some functional stuff, um, fine detail, stuff like that. Something like that, maybe. Oh, that's interesting. These lights are actually flipped in the real one, so... This is one thing that, you know, is tough if you don't, uh, that doesn't make any sense to me having, no, I don't like that. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me having the um, directionals not on the outsides. You know, it might be, that might just be a more modern thing to have directionals on the outsides, but that's what is good. Um, all right, start working through the panel here. So we need um book, boom, up. Uh, an arrow button up. We want to push. I like to have these toggle. It just makes it a lot easier. You kind of walk away from it. Um, and then three, we want boom down. And what do we do? Arrow button down. Toggle three. Okay. And then um, I don't. It doesn't slide in or in and out at all. It's kind of an old school. Um, it's an old school wrecker. It doesn't uh, have you know, um, the undercarriage lift. It just kind of hangs from uh, cable, which I might, not only might I, I think I'm going to do um, do that. Um, what I want to do here. All right, so we're getting on time too. So I kind of want to get this finished up. I want this running. Um, you know, and I really want a test mission after this. That would be kind of cool. Um, okay, and then grab these, and then I want these black. And then these can be independent, which I, which makes it a little bit easier to lift them. Yeah. Let's do three. Why not? That just gives me a little bit. Um, I don't need to put a splitter bar on there. I can independently control those. So um, kind of figuring out what I need now. So uh, okay, so that is up down. Uh, we're gonna need uh, 
Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think how to do this. That's up, down. Kind of want to separate them a little bit. Um, let's do some more lighting here. A lot of the stuff's chrome because, you know, 90s. Um, so, might chrome some of the stuff out a little bit more. See how I like it. This looks very white in game. Uh, it's the chrome RGB color. Um, so there's some rearward facing spots. I'm just trying to put some stuff to kind of kind of dress it up a little bit. Um, see, I don't want any more height, but I also um, yeah, it's not bad the way I have it there. All right, so let's see, that's that. Um, all right, so let's continue here. So two will be uh, spots, spots. All right, so I need support legs. Do I need support legs? I don't, I don't think. So spotlights will be there. That will be a um, flip switch. That'll be two. I'm trying to keep with the theme that this is a, you know, like, what are, what are these, 90s, 80s? Uh, I think 85, something like that, Mac R. You know, so I don't want a ton of modern looking stuff on here. I want to kind of, kind of keep in its, its look, you know. All right, so I need uh, one, two, three, four. So I need uh, eight. Need eight up downs here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So all of these are going to be up downs for the different winches. And so this one is going to be uh, uh, what's the main winch? Uh, arrow button would be left. So this is that big winch in the middle. That's going to be toggle. That will be two. Um, no, it will not be two. That will be five. Okay, and then I want... Um, it's going to be in. This will be out. This will be arrow button to the right. Toggle uh, seven. Okay. So that's in out, and then I need my diff my three different um, winches there. So two is going to be six. That's going to be um, driver's side winch. Um, arrow button up. Toggle. Arrow button up. Toggle. Actually, I think I want these, this one, these pushes. These, you know, the big winch, you might be towing something for a long time. It might be really long. I want, you know, I want to be able to toggle that. This one, I want to push. I want to very incrementally control that. I want to be able to tap it and have it go where I want it. So that's six. This is uh, eight here. That is, uh, where are we at? Eight, and I didn't finish that. That is um, driver's side winch up. And this is going to be uh, driver's side winch down. Down. Uh, again, another arrow button. You know, in a modern wrecker, you would have a uh, uh, remote control. In a 1980s wrecker, you have to stand at the panel to make it work. So this is um, center uh, winch. It's going to be arrow button. Oh, come on, man. Uh, arrow button up. Push. Nine. Center winch up. And then that's going to be three. Is going to be center winch down. Down. That's going to be an arrow button down. Push again. That's uh, 11. 
this is going to be uh, pasture side winch up. Going to be arrow button up, push 10. And this is going to be pasture winch down 12. All right, uh, arrow button down, push and 12. All right, so that sets up our panel. Um, yep, so that's all our buttons there. I don't know what this one's going to do yet. So we shall decide. Oh, I need to do boom up and down. Do, is, do I have boom up and down? Is this boom up and down? Yeah, that's boom up and down. Okay, I was like, ooh, I didn't do boom up and down. All right. And do I want to do any sort of supports? I have a lot of grip on these tires. I may need may need some supports. I may not. So, um, and I don't know where to put them. Yeah, I don't know where to put them. Um, so I'm gonna leave that blank for right now. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do for now? I think this one here four. Is going to be, um, I don't really care about the, the winch length of the center winch. I was going to say center winch length, but I don't really need to know that. That doesn't really do anything for me. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it I'll leave it where it is for now. Um, and so I'm going to, I'm going to kind of color these with the additive here. Um, kind of want them all the same color. And then that's good for now. And then this here is going to be um, my two toolboxes. I have those there. So I'm just going to do one and then I'll copy it over. This is be um, front toolbox. And then by making it a flip switch, uh, you don't need electricity for that. And then I'll actually, I'll tie it into these panels. Um, so I'll make it 13. And then uh, we have uh, rear toolbox, toolbox, and I think I'm going to turn these up on, on end. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn this up on end. So um, that's fine. That way I have a uh, flip switch. Just kind of make it a little different. 14. Okay. So I'll go like this. Like that. So that just has a different orientation. Just looks a little different than this switch here. Kind of adds a little bit more interest to it. All right. And then these are going to be nuns. I want to get rid of those. Okay. So that's what uh, that's going to look like. And then I'm going to grab this. We'll copy that, we'll invert it, and then I'll just put it over here and just change the numbers. So it should be 15, 16. And then, it, you know, whatever side you're standing on is going to be, you know, whether it's front or rear. So, All right, daisy these, and then I will. We're still good on time. I think I'm going to quickly try to at least start the microcontroller for these. Um, we'll see how should be able to knock these up pretty quickly. They're not, they're not re it's not terribly complicated. Alright. And I'm just going to stick it on the hood for now. Um, uh, where do I want to stick this? I'm just trying to put it somewhere where I don't get multiples, or duplicates. There's nothing here so I actually can stick it and then I can invert it. Okay. So let's go control panel. All right, and just I'm gonna give it give it the beans there. Um, okay, so let's get in there. Um, start adding some nodes. So I want um, number out. Boom. Okay. Uh, let's see, output, boom winch, um, up. So I just need to set the speed so it keeps up with the, um, with that so it simulates that the ropes are actually what's raising it, but the ropes are not going to raise it. It's just very, it's weak and it's not helpful.
Okay, that's that. And then I need uh, all my winches. So main winch in. Out. Okay. So this is uh, DS, DSW, DSWI. <laughs> I'm going to start abbreviating there. Uh, make it a lot easier. DSW um, down. This is actually going to be up. Okay. <laughs> like I'm not typing all this crap out. Um, no, I am not. Uh -huh. So I'm going to need a bigger microcontroller too. Um, right, logic. Um, let's see. I had two more I did. Okay. Um, pass our winch up. Uh, PSW down. Center winch up. Center winch down. And then... Okay, so we have driver side, passenger side, center winch. So that's the three winches. I did main winch, right? Main winch, there we go. I need to do the toolboxes now. So the toolboxes will be number outs. So number output, um, driver side, front toolbox. Number output, uh, Driver side rear toolbox. And uh, let's see. Number out. Uh, passenger side front toolbox. And look at that. That was a good guess. Um, and then do number output. And we'll go ahead and do um, passenger side rear toolbox. Passenger side rear toolbox. Okay, so that sets that up. And. Um, you know what I think I'll do? I think we'll call it there. Let me update this. Um, that's not killing anything. Beautiful. So that can easily flip and go anywhere. Um, so that's nice. So let's save this. And I think in the next video I'll finish it. And uh, maybe we'll go do a little test. Maybe I'll run something off into a canyon and see if I can lift it out of there with this. If I can't, um, generally you can lift anything out if you... If you have friction blocks um, and a stability system like um, outriggers, lift anything out. Um, you know, so uh, if need be, we'll add that system. But uh, all right, so I'm going to save it up. One, uh, I'll save it up as a backup here. I always like to have a backup. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. And we'll finish this up and we'll play with it a little bit. Um, and then if we get a tow mission, we know we can take this and tow it. And inevitably, when I break something and I need to drag it. We have the vehicle for this, and this week I'm releasing a bunch of stuff. So I want all the Mac R's out to you guys. I want you guys to be able to play with them and enjoy them. All right, so we'll see you then.